Hello and welcome to another edition of Luminar Coffee Break. I'm your host, Manelli. Now, our topic today is how to use Lightroom and Luminar together to batch process images so you get the both of both worlds. So if you're used to using Lightroom and that's your host application, at Skylum, we don't want to reinvent your workflow for you. We want you to be comfortable and we want you to use what you feel you like best so if you like to use Lightroom as your host application and then use the tools in Luminar to be creative, that's fine. I'll show you how to do that just in a moment after we listen to our sponsors. Fujifilm. Make images, share stories, and experience moments at the speed of life with Fujifilm. Thank you for staying at home with us. And we're back, and there's a, our crew from Japan, from uh, Belize, and of course, nobody, Russell from Orlando. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, let's dive right in. So right here, I have Lightroom open. Now, um, let me go through here for a moment. These are all the images I took of a local model, Ricky Lee, and I went through and selected a few of my favorites, just to make it easier for us to transfer them over, all right? So, originally, this is how it should work, but right now, just so you don't think something is wrong on your end, this batch processing is only shooting one image at a time, which isn't going to be helpful for us. So I'm going to show you the, the original intention. I'll just do two of them for now. So here was the original intention. File, export, and then from up here... You would come under Luminar 4, and then, this is so cool, you would go into your looks that you want, and in this case, I want to use the one I created called Ricky Lee. So I'm going to use Ricky Lee's, and once I hit export, in theory, it jumps over to Luminar, does this really cool thing, takes a while, jumps back into Lightroom, and we're done. However, for the Windows machine, that's not that's not doing what that's not what it's doing. So we one at a time. For a Mac computer, I'm going to cancel. If we're on a Mac machine or a Mac operating system, if you right click and we put Edit In Luminar Four, it'll bring both of them over one at a time. You select what you want, it brings it back in, saves it, goes back out, back and forth. That's not ideal. Now, why am I showing you a flaw? Because a lot of my friends were trying this, and they kept saying, Melly, it's not working. It, there's, a, there's, there's a lot to do with Windows, Luminar, and Lightroom or Adobe all work together as a team. So that's one area that the, the engineers know that we're going to work on. But as of now, I'm going to show you a way that you could do what we need to get done until that situation is resolved. Now, before anyone says... Oh my God, I can't believe you don't have that fixed. There are so many things that we've created. Uh, Accent AI, um, Sky Replacement, all these AI tools are just absolutely amazing. So here's a list of things that have to be done. There we go. A list of things that have to be done. I'd rather those get done than something like this that I can easily batch process on my own. All right? So with that being said, Please, no negative comments on why isn't this fixed yet, all right? So here's what we're going to do. Just to make it simple, I'm going to grab these three these three images first. Now, I've already cropped them. If you notice, they're already 8 by 10s I did all my Lightroom adjustments. I'm going to right-click and export. Now I'm going to export it to the hard drive. For the export location, I chose a folder that I created inside my main folder of photography. I called it underscore to be processed. So now I know if any of those images are inside that folder, they have to be processed. Come down here for the naming convention. I left the naming identical because I don't want to mess with that. At this point, I could resize the image, but I want to work on the full size image when it gets into Luminar. Uh, the rest of the stuff here is all fine. 
I'm not going to watermark my image, and that's set. Now, I could come over here and add this as a Lightroom preset. So then all I need to do is just click on that preset, and it automatically does it for me. But for now, I'm just going to export it. We'll look up in here, and three of those are going to be exported over to that folder. Now, here's where the really cool part comes in. So you see how we just exported them? There we go. Now, from inside Luminar, I added a folder called To Be Processed. Now, in this folder, To Be Processed, this is where those images are going to be coming in. So let's give it a second. Now, I just realized something. What I did do, here's trash can. Yep, there they are. I did take these and put them into the trash can. Here, put them back. And in a moment, they'll be coming back in here. So I did do this a little bit earlier just before we went live. So it's going to take a little, a few seconds for it to recognize it. So I'm going to go to another folder, change something around. Now let's go back to be, to be processed. And it should be coming in in a moment. So here's the thing with this. The cool, in fact, I'm going to show you how I did from the beginning. Um, I'm going to remove this from the catalog. And then I'm going to add it just to show you where I did it. There they are. To be processed. Ah, if you notice, the images didn't appear in this folder because, it's not the folder, Lightroom didn't transfer them over. Oh, they did. All right, so they did transfer over. So now they're in the folder, and here they are. So one more time, let me show you what I did. And I think where the glitch came in. Here we go. Is I transferred these over from here into the folder, and that folder is automatically tied to Luminar. Now that it's tied to Luminar, I can select one image. Let's do edit. And let's go to the looks. Now I've already created a look called Ricky Lee. I'm going to select it, and boom, it applied it. Right click, adjustments, copy. Now I'm gonna just select the other two images, right click, adjustments, and paste. Now I just went from Lightroom, did my changes in Lightroom, cropping, and any of the, any of the stuff that you feel comfortable doing in Lightroom, brought it over into Luminar automatically because of these folders the folders are active, meaning whatever you put into that folder, it'll automatically appear inside Luminar. So once I have these three in here, now I can just select them all, export, and I can choose a folder and export those to whatever size I want. Now, now that I showed you how I did that, I'm going to recap it one more time. I'm going to give you the philosophy behind it. So here we are in Luminar, or inside Lightroom, rather. I selected the image. Let's, we'll use this one and this one now. I selected the image, right-click, and then from here, I did put Export, and I gave it a specific folder, so it's not going to ask me each time. And I gave all the information I have here. I can add that. And let's just call this uh, Luminar. So Luminar export. It's under the, pre the user presets. There. So I have it right here so it's identical. Now I export it. I'll give it a couple seconds. Lightroom does its thing. Whatever changes I made to Lightroom, it's going to make those changes to the image. Now that it's done, I'm going to jump back over into Luminar. And again, it takes a while, a little, maybe a few minutes for it to refresh. Here's the actual headshots I was working on. And here they are coming into here. So we'll give it a couple minutes. Now, obviously, when we're doing this live, <laughs> a few minutes seems like hours. So to speed up the process, a lot of times, here it is, they're in now. 
to speed up the process, you go out of the folder and back into it. All right, now this one, uh, Lightroom rotated it. That's fine for now. Once we have them, Control A to select all, then export, choose what I want, and then export the image. And now we just got the best of both worlds. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. I would love it if I could go to File, Export, select my Luminar plugin, shoot it out, bring it back, done. However, the engineers have other priorities that we're working towards. So this is a good way. Um, I'm looking at this, let's say, a wedding photographer, like my buddy um, Richie Acevedo. For a wedding photographer, I can see where he has his assistant doing all the stuff she does in Lightroom that she's comfortable with. If that, they can go in and handpick which images, let me do this, which images, let's say, need a sky replacement, because Lightroom can't do that. They'll select five of the images that need the, the sky replacement, export them to be processed. Export to be processed. Boom. He can fire up Luminar, and now those images are in there, and he sees, oh, these are the images she wants me to add skies to them. Adds the skies, export them to the final folder, and now they're done. So that's one way you could work with the batch processing from Lightroom to Luminar. Um, if you're a landscape photographer, same concept. You can put all your images inside uh, Lightroom, if that's what you're used to working with. Make your slight changes. And again, if you wanted to augment, do an augmented sky, or if you wanted to replace the sky, or if there happen to be people in your port in your landscape that you want to add portrait enhancements to, these are all tools that Lightroom can do, but it'll take a long time to get done. Select them, export those over to Luminar. There they are in that to be process folder. Make your changes, export, and you're done. So there we have it. So that's a while you could use Lightroom with Luminar to get your images uh, batch processed all the way through. Well, I'm Benelli. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you at the next coffee break.